who were being asked by the teachers what you wanted to be when you grew up. And I was so confident. I stood up and said, when I grow up, I want to be a lion. <laughs> and my whole class was just laughing <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. I didn't understand why they didn't give me time to be the lion that I'm going to be when I grow up. <laughs> There's a saying that I've once heard with, the most important thing that a young lion has ever learned was knowing when to be scared. Being a human and mostly being scared of a lot of things and not sure about a lot of things, lions, lions know. <laughs> I enjoy animals because I think they're a simplified version of what people are. When an animal is nervous, it has a reason to be nervous. There's something that is bothering it and it can pinpoint it. When people are nervous, they don't always know why or where it comes from. A lot of people don't interrogate themselves or these emotions enough to know where they come from. Emotions are what our world is made of. All of these emotions are for us. They are about us. They tell us so much about who we are. So when pain comes and certain emotions arise, you then understand so much more about who you are. And then you can do so much more about what you are. My dad left when I was seven. I knew that they were having their own problems as parents, but for myself, it wasn't really a personal loss. He wasn't emotionally available a lot of the time. But I now had to deal with a mother that felt unloved, unwanted, rejected by a person whom I was apparently, I looked like, or whom I represented. She used to channel a lot of the pain she felt for him to me. I used to get the brunt of her frustrations, the brunt of her, her fears. I was angry at the whole world. How my anger played itself out was, I was a very aggressive and I was very quick to just get into a fight. Mainly because at home, I wasn't recognized. I was just a kid. I wasn't who I am. Khalil Gibram, there's a verse in a poem that he has that goes, your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. It is the bitter potion by which the physician within you heals your sick self. Therefore, drink his remedy in silence and tranquility. That resonates because in my understanding, pain is emotions that have not yet settled down. 
It's emotions that haven't found a place within my beingness. For as long as something hurts, it needs attention. But what pain represents is that door that no one opens up. You shut it off, you put it away, and you don't speak about it. For as long as there are those things in our lives, those sneaky emotions will always be hiding from us. Pain is a helper. It's one of our best teachers in this life. By embracing it, we take down the stigma of there being something wrong with it. Pain is a remedy. The breaking of that shell is painful, but that pain accesses, brings with it so much more. The uncomfortable, depressing places, they teach me so much more about myself than any good time has ever revealed to me. I allow myself to feel all of the pain. I allow myself to sit in the darkness. Having pain be residue of something good that is happening is a hopeful thing that I take into every unknown. In Tosa, there's a saying, meaning you are a king for knowing yourself. The best gift I have for the world is myself. That's the best gift I can give the world. The only thing that I can do is live my life the best way that I can. I feel like I've achieved that. I feel like I became my proudest version of, the, of a lion I can be. I embody that lion in more ways than one. The joyous, wholehearted laughing and accepting of joy and serenity when it is. The courage in front of trials or tribulations when they arise. Keeping fear at bay when my heart asked for something else was proof to me that if I say I want to be a lion, I'm going to be a lion. <laughs> Thanks to all of you who helped make this film possible. All of our films are totally crowdfunded. So if you'd like to continue to support us on our journey, check out our Green Renaissance page on Patreon.